Welcome to In The Sheds, where we talk all things rugby league in the Group 9 area. A big thanks to our sponsors, Hatondo Homes and WaggaWagga.tv. Join in the conversation at hashtag in the sheds 18. As usual, we'll talk about last week's round, then it's on to the Schnitz match of the round predictions, then we'll have a guest on and talk footy news followed by the tips for the next round. But for now, it's a big welcome back to my co-host Matt Ward. Wardy, welcome back, mate. Jimmy? Mate, no footy last week. We had a bit of a spell. It was Origin Week and bye week in the Group 9 area. Firstly, mate, what do you think of the Origin? Yeah, pretty good game, mate, wasn't it? A um, bit exciting, little new debutants. Yeah. I thought uh, everyone performed well, yeah. It was a very good game to watch. Well, 11 for New South Wales. They come mm. away with a win. I just think they dominated the ruck. Cook around the middle. You know, he, he just caught the Queensland middle third napping. And, and, mate, to be honest, probably Cook, Tedesco, Trebojevic really got off the back of Clemmer and the like and come away yeah, with it. Yeah, just win. speed, mate. Too quick. Too speed, you can't catch it. Too quick. Oh, mm. well, that's what they used to say about me. Just too quick. Too big. Well, we just couldn't coach you. Yeah, yeah. both, actually. Yeah. Can't coach no talent. Anyway, right. on to uh, speaking of talent, this week's round, mate, it's an enormous round. A couple of tight games and, and uh, you know, a pick, yeah. yeah, and a few games that clubs need to win, mate. That's right, so be some desperate ones. On to the schnitz match of the round. We've got the Juni Diesels and the Wagga Kangaroos. Roos have been impressive, as have Juni. Uh, a bit of rain this week. It's probably going to be a mud bath over there in Juni. And... It'll be hard for Kangaroos to go over there and travel and win. Yeah, it gets a bit uh, boggy over there at Laurie Dave Oval. It was pretty good the other week when we played. But, um, yeah, it's going to be tough. I think, um, yeah, it'll be hard for... But Roos have won three in a row. Yeah. So this will be a good matchup and deservedly the match of the round. Yeah, yeah. and Juno will look to want to bounce back after they were yeah. leading you guys and, and then uh, got rolled on the bell. So. That's right, yeah. yeah no, it's a very exciting clash. Uh, and and what, what else will be an exciting clash is the Cuda side against the Gundagai Tigers. Gundagai again need to win this one, as do Cuda. They're both sitting around third, fourth, fifth, I think. Yeah, I think Cuda might be around fifth, Gundagai a bit lower. So Gundagai's really desperate. They could start winning, stringing some games together. Yeah. Um, this will be a, a tough one. Like uh, Cuda knocked them off over there first round, if you remember. Yeah. Just a little bit keener, a little bit um, more on the ball with it. Again, that one could flip, be, flip of the coin. That, sort that's of a thing. flip of the coin, yeah. It'll be a great game here. Yeah, well, I've gone the, the Gundagai side. I think they'll get up in that one. Um, we've got the Wagga Brothers and Albury Thunder. That'll be a, an, another flip of the coin. I hate to sound like a broken record, but I think Albury might be too strong there on an upset. Okay. Yeah, no, I'd probably think Brothers are probably deserved um, first place uh, position at the moment. It's hard to go against them. They've been performing all year. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a touch and go. Yeah. And they do sit at the top of the table. Yeah, that's right. Tomorrow uh, against you guys, you'll be wearing a Tamora shirt, shirt if you go down, mate. Yeah, yeah mate, I'll be instructing the boys at training tonight. Uh, to Switch on. <laughs> no, no losses from here, mate. I don't want to be wearing the uh, Dragons outfit. <laughs> uh, no, I think we'll get it over them anyway. So. And the last round, or last game of the round, rather, is the Tumut Blues versus the Young Cherry Pickers. I think Tumut will be too strong there. Yeah. But again, Young were pretty impressive last start against Brothers. Yeah, well, Tumut hasn't lost at home this year. Young hasn't won this year, so... The odds are against them, but stranger things have happened, Jimmy. Yeah. Very good. It's and an exciting round. And how'd you go with your list of chores in the uh, off round, mate, in the bye week? Yeah, mate, got plenty done around the house. Actually, not much at all. I did some lawn mowing and then did some bonfiring and uh, beer Socialising. Socialising, yeah. Some Doing what you do stuff. best. Yeah. Oh, great well, again. Oh, yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah. And we're back into the footy, both junior and senior this week, so that, that's exciting stuff. That's right. It's good to have that week off. I'm sure everyone enjoyed it. And then yep. uh, everyone will be ready to go this week all around the place. Yeah. Very good. Well, mate, we wish you all the best at South City this week. Thanks, mate. And we'll be back uh, shortly with a special guest from the Albury Thunder Club. Come on! My new dream home With memories to call my own It's my Hotondo home It's my Hotondo home How do you reach your customers? Wagga Wagga.tv films and streams live sport, award ceremonies and seminars, corporate events, business programs. We come to you with any type of production you require to reach your audience. TV commercials, profile videos, corporate videos. Wagga Wagga.tv productions, streaming and distribution. Local content with global reach. Call us today on 6971 771 and start standing out in Wagga. 
Welcome back to In The Sheds. Joining us now is none other than Albury Thunder League tag superstar, Pane Rupa Pere. Thank you for joining us on no In The Sheds. Worries. You guys are doing great things down there this year in the league tag. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we are. We're doing very well. Um, we haven't had a loss yet. We're top of the table. We've got lots of young girls coming through. We've got lots of old heads to steer them around and we've picked up some pretty good talent from the uni students who have come across to Albury, even some Army and Navy recruits, so it's been really good. Happy days. and very exciting game this week. Top of the table. Brothers have been dominant in years gone by. How do you think you guys, well, where do you think you can beat them? Yes, I think it's definitely going to be a tough ask to come to Brothers home game and beat them. They definitely know how to win big games and we always have to be on our game to be able to match them. Um, it's pretty hard to say we will beat them. I think definitely defence wins games, so if we can just make our tags and pressure up on them and not let them make much room, we might be in with a chance. On the defence, I think Gold Screech got a bit of a curvy question about defence. Yeah, well, I noticed you, uh, you played in a pre-season tackle comp this year. Funny, yeah, you enjoyed that? Yes, yes, there was an awesome tackle comp, so Aubrey Thunder hosted uh, uh, tackle competition. It was actually at the end of last year, but they had selected a side that a couple of our girls actually made, and um, they had a pre-season comp at the beginning of this year, so that yeah, was good. Cool. Um, do you see that as, a, as something that could move forward, Group 9 perhaps, or, or in country areas, the tackle women's football? I think that the tackle is definitely going to have to be a pathway and definitely be introduced probably more at grassroots level to, so the girls have more of an opportunity to be able to make Australian teams and you know go to World Cups and things like that. So, yeah, it'll yeah, definitely it happen in the NRL well, can, as well. It's yeah. also hard because you, look, if you've got a young girl, say five, six, seven, eight years of age, you know, how do they make their pathway through to playing, you know, the top level rugby leagues? It's a hard pathway, is it? It's definitely going to be a hard transition and a hard decision because league tag definitely teaches young girls the fundamentals of uh, rugby league and running good, playing good rugby league. Um, but in terms of trying to progress in the sport, they definitely have to try and make the move over to tackle, which you may lose uh, people. And there's obviously been lots of hard work put into try and. Um, grow league tag as it is, Get so game, it's yeah. going to have to kind of start again and reintroduce tackle into girls game. Now do you go for the kangaroos yet or are you still a kiwi? Kiwi at heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Now uh, Coach Pertell doing good things down there in Albury this year? Yeah, he's definitely doing good things. He's very professional, calming influence. He likes um, good attitudes around the park on and off the field and um, he's definitely uh, brought a positive attitude towards yeah. to Thunder Club. Of course your husband plays in the first grade team, he's enjoying it as well? He's yes. loving it, he's enjoying it. I think he came off a serious injury as we all know last yeah. year, he did his shoulder and he had a year on the sidelines so um, it was probably more of a mental battle. I think people yeah. will underestimate how hard it is for males to get back on the field or anyone that's come off a serious injury to yeah. get back on the field and now that he's had a couple of tackles under his belt he's just ready to go, he just probably needs to lose a couple of kilos oh. and uh, get some K's Guilty. in the legs. Yes, yes. We all need that. <laughs> get some K's in the legs and I think he'll be right. Oh, to be honest, you, you, you nearly wrote them off last week, Aubrey, for the rest of the year, just given where they're sitting on the ladder. But with him coming back in, I, you know, I reckon they'll be there about. Still, they've got a fantastic squad, but they, oh. I think they have to win every game from here to make it. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll probably never say die for yeah. now, but um, they definitely need to try and start getting some yeah. wins under their belts. And, They've definitely got a good working group and um, everyone wants to be there. They've all got the right attitude. It's just trying to get some of those tough wins. And, and they brought a few young players through, like Big Clegg, who played in the under-18s. Yeah, young Wiscombe's had a few games. And yeah. that week yeah. off would have been awesome for them because I think young bodies, they start to tire, they start to get a bit fatigued. Yeah. Uh, Wizards has been amazing, so so has Clegg, but I think that yeah. week off would have helped them. Oh, very good. Now, uh, we'll just uh, run through our tips uh, just quickly, uh, yeah. given that I'm the perfect tipping genius. Uh, as it was Mr. Olsen that he copied me last week. And Water, you let yourself slide, uh, yeah. not only physically, but uh, with the tipping. Uh, we've got a, a, um, a lock right up the top. It's 27 of all to all of us. My tips this week, I think the Gundagai Tigers will just be a little bit too strong for Cootamundra. They've got a few injury worries over there. Junee Diesel's in the wet after the rain this week in Junee. It's a tough place to play after the wet weather. I think the Albury Thunder... We'll come across here to Wagga and, and roll the top of the table. Ooh, big call. Brothers, South City Bulls will be too strong and the Tumut Blues. I'm pretty similar, Jimmy. Uh, one difference there, I've obviously uh, picked uh, top of the table brothers to beat Albury. I think, um, well, hopefully not for Albury's sake, but I think their season, it's on the line. I said that last week, though, they needed to win. This week's definite. If they lose from here, they're definitely out. Like, there's not even a mathematical chance from here. So, Other than that, I did take the same. Uh, Gundagai to win. 
June E, Wagga Brothers, of course, South City and Chimit up home. Don't be forgetting too that uh, if South City lose, you've got to don the, the opposing That's sides right. jersey. We Thanks to uh, Mr. Hall. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Olsen uh, on switch, the uh, tipping, copying genius, whatever you want to call him, has gone Cootamundra Bulldogs, the June A Diesels, Albury Thunder, like myself, South City Bulls, and the Tumut Blues. I think he's actually a local celebrity now after today's newspaper. Front page news. news. They right. sold out papers within the first hour, uh, Mr. Olsen. If you want to get into singing, now, now is the time and it's never too late. So That's right. A big, a big credit to Mr. Olsen on Switch. Parney, thank you very much for joining us. Awesome. You guys are having an awesome year, as we mentioned, and uh, we wish you all the best for the rest of the season. Cool. Thanks, boys. Screech up, mate. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Always a pleasure, mate. And, mate, I wish you well in the tipping this week. Mm, same to you. Yeah, there no could worries. be a, a change of leadership. There really will be, because you didn't top me. Mm. Anyway, thank you once again. We thank the viewers at home, and we'll see you next week on In the Sheds.